That must be three o'clock. Um, I believe, I think I read that there are 38 colleges in Oxford to make up the university. And uh, this is one of them. And, and again, you, you see the inadequacies of the iPad uh, as regards a um, wide angle. Um, th this is Christchurch over there, which is one of the larger ones. And uh, one of the main ones, actually. And you get an idea of how it is. One thing about Oxford, from the point of view of wandering around, it's it's more compact than, than say London. Like if if you go to the centre of London and you know you want to walk around the the, the famous places, Tower of London, Buckingham Palace, Houses of Parliament. It's, it's physically a greater distance between them and requires more walking and therefore more time. But Oxford's different. Um, it's all a bit more compact and it doesn't take so long to get from one college to the other or to a museum, uh, the Ashmolean, and the Ashmolean is just up there on the left. It, it's all a little bit quicker um, to walk around because it's, it's more compact, the distances are shorter. So, in a, in a way, I suppose, if you were just up here for the day, you know, it might be a long day, but you could kind of give yourself a really good idea um, of Oxford. The, the green bus on the left, that's one of those hop-on, hop-off buses. There's also a red one, apparently the same company. Something to do with one's got an audio tour and the other's got an actual guide. Um, but there's plenty of walking tours. They all seem to start around about 11 and go through to about 2. Um, so, and it's close enough to London that, you know, if you started off early, got here, say, 9 or 10 in the morning, something like that, gave yourself 8 hours. Here you go. There's Christchurch over there, visitor entrance. Um, different colleges charge different admission fees. Some of them may be free, I, I don't know. Uh, I've heard of some of them be, being in the region, say, £8, and others are £4, or £5, or £2. Uh, it depends, I suppose. Uh, but yeah, I, I guess if you gave yourself eight, you know, full hours, I mean, there's some museums here as well, so it depends how long you spend in those museums as well. But. Certainly, if you, if you didn't bother with the museums uh, and you just stuck to the colleges and, and the walking tours and maybe the hop on off, hop off bus, you could probably, you know, a, a long day would, you know, you could kind of tick it off the list. You could then say that, you know, you, you, you've been to Oxford. But if you want to go to the museums, then that's, that's different.